Well, it's a long weekend and kids are on break and they're enjoying the skiing because it's been snowing off and on the past several days. And again today, Brightage Mountain had a couple of inches of snow and Tamarack Resort, very similar. Sun Valley is going to get a couple of inches of snow. Bogus Basin still hanging in there, uh, but just not getting the snow as much because most of the snow has been to the north. But with a system dropping to the south, Bogus Basin may get a little bit more. Extended forecast for the McCall area, wintering cold. Look at these temperatures. 22 tomorrow, 5 below zero in the morning, only 22 for a high Wednesday, 20 on Thursday. I think we'll have upwards to an inch of snow uh, tonight and tomorrow morning. And then on Thursday, there could be another maybe coating to an inch of snow. Uh, and I'll update you on this as we get closer. Staying cold, six below zero Friday morning. Then it starts to warm up and we'll go to the upper 40s. There will be a warm up next week. But in the meantime, cold weather and look at all these advisories. All of the purple winter weather advisories, eastern Oregon, western Nevada, uh, this blue freeze watches in effect for the central and northern California valleys. Winter storm watches for uh, southern Utah, and so this storm system is going to go down to the south and the pink and purple area. Uh, that's uh, the winter storm warnings. That's where heavy snow is likely, and this is going to blast up into the uh, central plains here with uh, just a almost a blizzard, at least blizzard like conditions at times. And unfortunately, the eastern edge of this were still dry. Red flag warnings. Look at the fires burning in eastern portions of Oklahoma. So again, we take a look at this low pressure system. It's diving down to the south. You see everything rotating around at that counterclockwise. That'll continue to go in this direction here. And as it gets closer to the Treasure Valley, it may pinwheel up some of those snow showers. Tough to tell exactly where we'll get the snow, but eastern portions of Oregon has the best chance for snow and south of the interstate. And it even could be during the day tomorrow, but overnight we have the colder temperatures. And then tomorrow night, some snow showers could be working their way still towards the mountain home area in Glens Ferry. So got to watch this storm system. It's slowly, I mean slowly, making its way down in this direction here. But it will intensify to the south. Although typically, it affects people uh, in, again, Utah, where they're still getting the snow right now. Cold air is coming in behind this, and so that's why it gets so much chillier. You don't see huge snow accumulations between now and midday tomorrow, but Sun Valley could do pretty well with this system because of the southerly flow aloft is going to ride up the Wood River Valley, and that's a good snow producer for Sun Valley, so a few inches possible. This is what the chart shows now that one I was watching all week long, and last week, last night showed a little snow. Doesn't show anything in the valley through tomorrow at midday except near Weezer. Ontario does show snow, but these patches really could be anywhere. A chance for a little bit of snow, and then it shows more snow snow a better chance tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. And so don't be surprised anytime between now and Wednesday uh, mid morning. We have a chance for snow showers and at times if it's at nighttime, especially we could get some accumulation. So the charts are coming in right now between four and 10 inches of snow for the ski areas uh, towards the beginning of March. We've got a better chance for more snow coming on in. In fact, an atmospheric river is going to start blasting moisture. Look at the West Coast here turning purple and in the Central Mountains, more moisture, better news for the snowpack in March. Looking into mid March is looking better than it has been. Blustery and cold in my forecast for tomorrow with snow showers, a wind whipping in the morning near the Snake River, gusting to 35 miles an hour. So it's going to be a little rough early on. Uh, then the wind will settle down, but the snow showers are going to linger very wintry during the day tomorrow. Clouds and snow showers you see up in the mountains here. McCall at 22 staying cold. My extended forecast, a little snow uh, tonight and tomorrow into Wednesday morning, blustery and cold. Highs in the 30s, a little light snow could fall on Thursday. And by the time we get to the weekend, we're warming up and it may even be close to 50 by now next Monday.